Happy New Year everybody. First flight of 2019. January something. 10th or 11th. Hell, I lose track. It's got snow tomorrow. So we're up for a fun flight tonight. Day before the snow, 5 to 7 inches coming. Okay, it's bugging me. What the hell day is it? I'll check my phone here. It is the 11th. Hey, I was right the second time at least. No pictures tonight. Just fun. Let's see if the radio works here. Shelbyville Municipal Airport, Shelbyville, Indiana. Automated weather observation 2016 Zulu. Wind 130 at 06. Visibility 1. Turn the squelch off. All right. We are going way out on Niner. So we got the long drive. It's all right. I don't care. It's about 3.30. Maybe a little before. Overcast. Something's trying to break that squelch. Kind of aggravating. There's a bit of plane flying around a pattern here. Here I'm out to the southeast. So I'll we'll have to keep an eye on him. Show me my traffic. Experimental power parachute 729 my Papa departing runway 9 or exiting the area to the southeast. Show me though. Big Blue River, y'all. Oh, there we 
could fly that. That'd be kind of cool. That'd give me something to do, wouldn't it? Try out our new bottom facing camera here, forward facing. We'll put this one down a little bit. camera's going to do is like far as vibration and everything, so. Kind of been a crosswind the way we're going, so. Woo! I should aim that camera down a little more. Can't quite reach it. I ain't going to unbuckle to try it either. <laughs> raising this damn visor and taking my fingers out of my gloves.
saw a big old tree across. I guess it's kind of leaning out over it rather than on it. Hadn't been up this way for a while. We've been going southwest, so northeast. Get across land. Uh, sorts. Grandma Toon 
takes place out that way. Okay, I got a 90 degree turn coming right here. To the right.
Freebird in Freeport. Light in a 
third parachute be with that little rocket. Little rolling. I bet we're not too far from the county line. We'll go up another mile or so and then turn around. But I bet, I bet we're real close. Probably already passed it, actually. That was easy. <laughs> the southwest part of it for another flight. We're going to go out east, maybe around Vanilla. It's hard to ride out in that part of the county, maybe Rush County. See what's up. Don't see any towers, power lines, or anything. Not a bad night. Not a bad night at all compared to what it's going to be later. Five to seven inches of snow, so I got my fire going. Wife went to the store, we're all stocked up. I got plenty of beer. Oh God, that's the most important thing. To hell with milk and eggs and bread. Beer, pretzels, man. Chips and salsa. That's what you need for a snow. <laughs> that's what I am talking about. That, I smell chicken. I swear to God, I smell Kentucky Fried Chicken. Who's cooking? Somebody barbecuing? Holy crap, I'm hungry as hell. Oh, I bet it's copper kettle. Holy crap, am I smelling copper kettle way up here? That can't be. Because that is the unmistakable smell of chicken. I kid you not. Oh, wow. Crap, wish I had a runway over there. Yeah, I could go land at the RC field, walk over, get some chicken. <laughs> Could land there pretty easy. I don't know about taking off. But... Oh, that smells just like chicken. Absolutely. I believe we got us a shenanigan field here. I think we're probably at the county line. So I'm going to go around the corner here. Can't get low enough and slow enough to read a road sign down there, so I'm going to have to assume. Yeah, we're probably up here in uh, Hancock County now. Forgot my passport. Oh, it forks. Which way do we go? Let's go this way. Oh, this looks like the main branch. That's just a little offshoot over there.
little water hazard. Got a windmill or something out here. Go ahead, let's see what we got. Thank you. 
this one.
about a 45 here. There's another set of towers. I see something suspicious over there. Means we've got to stay up a little bit. Crazy bastard. Up in the sky in January. Why wouldn't you? Alright, what else we got? There's got to be more towers coming in somewhere. More lines. I want to stay high around here. I just don't trust it. Visibility's not that good. This may be one of the last flights for a while. Let's see, I'm going to tear the engine off this. We're going to go get it inspected and possibly rebuilt. So, enjoying this one, every minute of it. Take it up to Jim Leon up in Kankakee and let him take it apart. Rebuild the carbs, probably new pistons, whatever else it needs. Hopefully it won't need a new crank. That'll save me some good bucks. 1400 bucks or thereabout. temporarily insane there. Bah. That made my face cold. I shouldn't have done that. I got this all messed up. place over here. Aim the camera over. Nice house back in the woods, off the road. Bingo. Good job. That's what you got to do. We got a pool. We might have a pool too. Can't tell. Nope, no pool. It's pretty neat back here. They got a pool. Swimming, come on, people. Pretty cool being able to aim this camera. Good places to build houses.
Mylar. Oh, Mylar Berlin. Ramon Wilson's old house. Got a bird's eye view here. My wife's other grandma lived here. Cecil Wilson. Shenanigans.
another airport down this way somewhere.
so we all get three landing, so there's two. Oh, my feet are cold. 5.31. My watch might be a bit fast. There she's going. Sherry, I'm gonna get you. Overshot again. Don't forget the crosswind, Scotty boy. this time, Scotty boy. That's better. Mucho better. Oh, I'll idle the next one in. Just for shits. Shits and giggles.
I talk about beer a lot on here, but it's Friday night and it just sounds good after a flight, you know? All right, we flew the river, half the river, half the Blue River, from north of Shelbyville on up, and next time we'll catch the other half of it, or sometime. Hopefully the video came out okay, and hopefully we got audio and everything. I'm interested to see how this front camera, this camera down here I got off my front wheel fork. We'll see how that worked out, if it vibrates real bad or not. This is an experimental flight for that. And the pretty blue runway lights. it over the taxiway line, and kill! I think we're going to come up through the grass this side anyway. So if we're not going to feel, we'll come in at a little different line here. <laughs> Figured we'd stop well short. Okay, I'm going to be lazy. Watch this. I'll fire back up. <laughs> there. <laughs> back it up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> All right, let's do a recap. I'll do it from facing this way, so you guys get to see a different side now. All right, January 11th, 2019, first slide in the year for me. Sweet. I guess I can take this off. I don't need to be stealth ninja so much now. Excuse me while I wipe my face. Nose is kind of running, a little cold. <laughs> Two hour plus flight, north. Northeastern Shelby County, followed uh, Big Blue River up from just north of the Bears Chase Golf Club on North Nine, just about a mile north of Shelbyville. Followed it up through uh, around Little Marion, uh, Freeport, and Morristown, and on up to the county line, probably a little beyond, because I wasn't sure exactly where the county line was, but I went to where I was pretty sure it ended anyway. And then we kind of flew east a little bit. Then I saw a guy with a strobe light out by his house. Figured he was trying to flag me down. I saw it flash a few times. So I was like, oh, I'll head that way. And sure enough, he was. And I got over there. Hey, we've got some geese coming over. Check it out. Geese. Didn't hear him calling on the radio. Probably can't see him on the GoPro. Anyway, so I flew over him. And he's pointing at his uh, driveway there, kind of like, land here, land here. <laughs> it's like, I don't think I can. But I went in, did a low pass, then came back around, did a touch and go. It was a north south. Uh, kind of path there, and getting down would have been no problem. Taking off would have been the pain because I would have had a crosswind and there were trees off to the east, so I would have been fighting some turbulence. So I just did a small touch and go. So we'll find out who this guy is. I'll see if I can find out. I'll look on the map and then go to the Shelby County GIS and see who it was and try to get in contact with him. But if we get a north-south wind, I might be able to land and take off there one of these days. That was pretty cool. So then we flew... Um, out of there on south, so at that point we're northeast of Morristown. Then we went over to around Bungie, just north of there. We saw some uh, Rush Shelby Energy guys probably over there working on power lines. So we kind of did a flyby then, waved, and then right along the east side of Bungie there with all the trains. So seeing the trains lined up and all the semi trucks lined up to dump soybeans over there and did that. Then flew south around uh, my in law's house, Tunes. Got a plane in the pattern coming in. Um, Circled their house a couple times, southeast of Morristown, and then just kind of went south and just basically just went nuts. The fly low, round trees, low over fields, touch and goes, just kind of wherever, whatever, just just farting around. There just comes a geese again. Looks like they're going to land in the field over there. So we got geese low, and we got one in the pattern up here. So pretty light winds out of the southeast tonight. They were about three knots calling in out of 120. So we went ahead and decided just to land in front of here, even though we knew the chute was going to get pulled across. I didn't want to have to taxi all the way back and hang out there on runway niner. Look at all these dudes. Check them out. So we're back. I'm not going to fuel this thing up, because I'm probably going to drain the fuel at some point anyway. Um, to change the lines out and everything while the engine's gone, so I'm just going to leave it and not worry about it. So we're going to back her in, take the radio off, take the cameras off, pack and hang up, go home. Get warm in front of the fire. Stove probably needs fed again. Have, haven't had a fire in a while, so we got it going. 
warm up, drink a beer, kick back, and do whatever you do on a Friday night. Oh, that's a tower over there. I thought that was another plane. That's the radio station tower light. Kind of right at the fence line. It looked funny. Anyway, so might be the last flight for a while. Might not be. Don't know. It depends on when I get this engine pulled. Probably we'll go ahead and do that. Whenever it warms up enough, I can come over there in the hangar and do that. Might need a hand from somebody else to help me lift it off. But good time to get it sent in while they're not backed up and everything. If I send it in in March like I was going to, hell, it might take a month or two to get it. I don't want to waste any flying time. And that way I can get it back on. I can do my annual my annual inspections due in April, so I'll do that. Um, so anyway, it's a good time. Happy Friday. Hope everybody survives the winter storm this weekend. Five to seven inches. That's the last I heard, probably. Maybe more by now. Who knows? So, anyway, have a good weekend. Stay safe. Don't go crazy on the roads. Bye.